Hello everyone, welcome to our learning series of how to use Unreal Engine for architectural visualization. In this video, we're going to continue on the widget slide design. And more specifically, in this video, we're going to create a camera uh, widget uh, tool in our walkthrough widget uh, to make it uh, possible for any uh, viewer of this presentation to take any snapshot of any interesting uh, point of view he might think of. So, uh, before creating this camera, picking up from our last video, we have managed to create a small uh, basic animation of our uh, this uh, left menu that we have created uh, last time, uh, where we able to press the space bar to, sh uh, to show the menu and the hide bar to hide it back again. So, we need just to uh, connect our uh, other tools and this widget to be visible uh, when we hit the space bar or hide it when we hit the when we hit the hide button. So there are different ways of doing this. Uh, as you can see, we have created like these buttons um, to be able to animate each item of these uh, tools uh, separately. But this is going to be like a long process where we have to create a multiple animations and connect it to the play animation uh, blueprint for each one. So, for the sake of this presentation, we're gonna just make it um, a basic uh, show, uh, show on with the, with the blueprint. And I'm gonna leave uh, the multiple animation process for you guys to practice on uh, and see if any uh, difficulties you're gonna face on this process. You just let us know in the comments below and we'll make sure to uh, show this process and the revision uh, video. So to start, I'm going to just pick up all of these um, uh, tools and going to the animation time slide and to the transform button. We have managed to uh, keep them on the minus 400 on the X axis. So I'm going to add a keyframe for them at this point and move the time slider to the same position of the other uh, buttons and hit zero and then hit a keyframe on this button. So when the menu comes uh, or appears, they will come along with it. So for the ArcVis map, the, the mini map, we're gonna do the same thing, but pick up the base map, make sure you, put, you pick the base map and also hit a keyframe at the 800 point of the X axis and go to the end of the time slider at zero to restore it to its original point and hit the keyframe and then we have our animation ready so if we compile if we compile and hit play and see how this is going to go so here's the go through so if i hide this as you can see they all hide if i hit the space bar they all come uh, back on so let's create our uh, camera to be able to use it uh, along with the other tools uh, we have created so far Okay, so to start, we're gonna create a button and drag it somewhere here. Let's use a, a, ca a camera image that I've imported earlier and head size the canvas. So it's just a basic camera uh, icon which represents the function. So I'm also gonna browse for the image, assign it to the hover and the pressed button. So in this camera widget uh, tool, once the viewer press it, it will create a snapshot and save it on a specific path that we will uh, determine later. But for this process to work, we're gonna add also uh, a slider or actually two sliders where we're gonna also be able to zoom in and also play with the depth of field of this camera uh, uh, tool. So I'm gonna write slider I'm gonna drag the slider into also the canvas here. Uh, just put it, put it on the scale of 160 by, let's say 60. Okay, I think this is okay. And let's add another one. So I'm just gonna copy and paste and put it below this. So I'm gonna add also a text and assign it here. Write this for example. The first one will be depth of field. So this is going to be our depth of field where we can zoom in and out. Make sure you drag the scale of the text here. 
let's minimize the scale a little bit to let's say 16 I guess this is a little bit visible okay uh, again drag it here so we'd be able to click with the mouse to drag the slider so I'm gonna copy this again and paste it and change the name of this to um, actually uh, I made a mistake the first one is gonna be actually the field of view and this is gonna present this is the one that's gonna represent the zooming of the image we'll be gonna use the camera to zoom in and the depth of field will represent uh, the depth of the image where we can blur uh, uh, some of the part of the, the view okay so now that they are ready let's add them also to the animation so I'm gonna select them all make sure to put them on the minus 400 uh, value on the x-axis and make sure that the time slider also is at zero and hit a keyframe here and move the time slider to the end and put this to zero and hit a keyframe so now I think now they are connected with the animation okay so we're gonna compile this we're gonna select our camera button and I'm gonna hit on on clicked so now we have our button uh, ready to uh, connect it to a blueprint to uh, activate its function so to enable um, a camera snapshot uh, snapshot uh, function uh, to a, a camera icon or a widget uh, there's a lots of ways of doing this but uh, our target here is to use the easiest and the fastest way without creating a lot of knots so in Unreal Engine, there is a node called Take High Resolution uh, Screenshot. And this is basically a simple way of creating this image where we have uh, the resolution X and Y. So assuming, for example, we're gonna set our resolution to 300 by 1600, for example. And uh, that's it. If you just compile and we hit play, and we give it to our uh, walkthrough when we hit our camera give it just a second you'll see that your image has been created and downloaded in a specified uh, path and this path actually is the, the same uh, one that's inside your uh, engine when you create a snapshot from your um, uh, small arrow here from the high resolution screenshot so if I hit here it will connect me to the screenshot uh, location but we can change also um, uh, the, the image save location by creating also uh, a node called create temp file name and I'm gonna put this path that I created uh, earlier compile and let's hit play again and if now if we go again to the camera let's change the view and hit um, on the camera our image will be created on the location that we have uh, created earlier so this is a basic way to create a snapshot uh, through a, a camera widget but now that we have our camera we need to use also uh, the other sliders where we have our field view so uh, we'll make it possible also to view uh, to zoom in on the uh, on the project uh, presentation uh, viewport okay so to do that we're gonna need to bring our slider in but first let's uh, name these sliders according to their function so this one is gonna be field of view and the next one is gonna be the depth of view okay so for the field of view over here we're gonna find on the events on value changed so I'm gonna click on this one and it will create also um, like a, a button uh, function functionality for the the slider I'm gonna cast from this one uh, to my arcvis character the character that I'm using on my uh, project this one basically so I'm gonna cast this to arc it was this character and then we're gonna need to get our camera for this character as it's the one that we're gonna change uh, the depth of field and the field of view 
So to do that, we're gonna go inside our Artviz uh, blueprint and make sure you uh, name your camera uh, to a specific name that you can be e you can easily get it inside the blueprint. So I'm gonna drag from the Artviz character and write uh, our camera name, which is Artviz camera. And from this one, we're gonna create a set a field view. So I'm gonna write field of view, where we're gonna connect this also to the character. So basically, the same camera that the character is using in our viewport is the one that that's we're gonna use to adjust the uh, the field view. So we go. We're gonna also need our uh, uh, player uh, get owning player and connect it to the object so and we're gonna also need to create from the value something that we're gonna change our uh, value of the slider with so I'm gonna get this uh, map branch clamped and connect this to our field of view next we're gonna just uh, drag from this uh, a minus float by float to adjust the minimum of the uh, via the slider and also a plus uh, float by float for the maximum okay so let's create two variables for the our slider the field view so I'm gonna name this minimum uh, sorry uh, field of view I'm gonna make it float I can duplicate this also at once and name this um, maximum and drag the minimum to connect it to this one to the minus and the maximum to the positive okay so now we need just to uh, enter a digit a uh, uh, number that will represent our uh, camera values so let's put our uh, minimum here at 20 for example and the maximum is gonna be let's say for example at 100 Make sure that you put in branch one so it's zero to one and i think we can compile and we just make sure that our slider set zero to one okay so let's hit play and see how this is going to go so if we go to this position for example and if we zoom in and out you can see that our slider now can enable any viewer to zoom in and take a snapshot at this stage so the next one is the slider of the depth of field so we can at least have uh, uh, like an effect of uh, depth of field for the camera which is gonna make it more interesting so i'm gonna choose the slider of the depth of field and also the same thing go to the events and hit on the value change on value changed and we can copy actually some of the nodes that we have created for the field view so I'm gonna bring all of these guys over here control W and connect this here and from the camera to adjust the depth of field basically we need uh, one of the settings inside the camera post process and the lens uh, more specifically so I'm gonna drag from the camera uh, get post process setting not this one so post process so it's basically set process setting sorry about that and we're gonna connect this to the character and we're gonna drag from this also make post process and we're gonna connect this to uh, our uh, branch clamped but before that we have to activate which exactly uh, the options inside the camera that we or inside the post process that we need the slider to adjust so uh, let's pick two of them let's say for example uh, the field distance that's the one so once you click it you can see it activated over here and let's say the bouquet size for example you can add as many as you uh, like but for this let's just uh, connect it to the clamp uh, i think a value of three is okay and for uh, the values here let's put this at 20 for example and 
let's make sure that this is gonna start from zero. Let's put this, for example, as a value 1000. We're gonna need also to create two variables for the slider, uh, the depth of field. So here, variable, and this is gonna be also minimum depth of field and duplicate it and name this the maximum and also connect the minimum to the minus float and the maximum to the plus and hopefully this will do it so I'm gonna compile and see how this is gonna go okay so the walkthrough widget so again let's pick somewhere near a, an item let's say for example here i'm gonna zoom in let's go to this position and let's test our depth of field so if we drag the slider we still don't see any effect so we have to go back and adjust uh, what exactly uh, the reason behind this so let's go back to the blueprint uh and yeah obviously because we did not connect the basic slider to the range plan so connect again and compile hit play hopefully this time it's gonna go okay so again i'm just i just want to come closer to this leaf uh, view so at this point let's test again so now we have our depth of field is running so if we go closer to this point and basically we're gonna need to play more with the, the values of the, the depth of field so let's say for example that we increase this uh, to 2000 compile and hit play and again let's pick a closer point like this for example and we just zoom in a little bit and as you can see now when we increased our values we were able to uh, let's say for example we to um, have a pick a, a closer point or a point of interest where we can have a focus point at this uh, leaf so if we hit the camera well the camera is going to take the snapshot now if we look at it now second just load and this is let's maximize it and this is the view that we have uh, chosen at the size of 3000 uh, by 1600 uh, pixels where it's actually represent uh, a very good uh, resolution and, and obviously you can increase it of course to uh, however you would like uh, the size going to be so this is the basic idea of creating a camera widget inside your presentation where you can uh, take a snapshot, zoom in and adjust the depth of field. Of course, you can continue adjusting the values that we have set up for the clan branch and get uh, more results out of that. So I hope this video was uh, helpful for you guys to uh, set up uh, this uh, widget tool. And thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video.